So now that we understand the difference between pure substance and mixtures, let's go ahead and talk about pure substances some more. So as you can see from this amazing graph that someone made, a pure substance can be broken up into two different things, elements and compounds. So what the heck is the difference between an element and a compound? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this slide. Basically, everything in the world, and I know I didn't talk to you guys about atoms yet, but everything in the world is made up of these tiny little things called atoms. And for now, just imagine these things as like tiny little balls. And, okay, go ahead and leave your jokes in the comments below. Everything is made up of tiny little balls called atoms. Now, any time you have a material that is made up of only one type of these balls, it's called an element. So these balls, a bunch of different types of balls exist. Some might be blue, some might be orange, some might be big, some might be little. Whenever you have a material that's made up of only one type of these balls, or atoms, it's called an element. Whenever you have something that's made up of different types of balls, or different atoms, it's called a compound. Make sense? So let me go ahead and uh, explain to you guys an example that I want to talk to you guys about a material that you guys are probably all familiar with, gold. Gold is a basic pure element. If you took a chunk of gold and you cut it up and cut it up and cut it up and looked at it under a microscope, cut it up, cut it up, cut it up some more until you can only see what they were made out of atoms, you'd see that every single atom and a piece of gold is the exact same. It's the exact same gold atom. However, water is not the same. If you cut up water, 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 and you had a microscope powerful enough to see the atoms, you would see that, hey, this isn't just one water atom. It's made up of different kinds of atoms or balls. Some of them are hydrogen. Some of them are oxygen. And I'm sure you guys heard H2O. That means it takes two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom to make water. So some things like gold, pure substances, are made up of all the same atoms. However, other things, and this is again called compounds, are made up of two or more different types of atoms. So if we go ahead and take a look at our graph now, basically we can have a pure substance. And the two different types of pure substances are elements, which is made up of all the same atom, and compounds, which are made up of different types of atoms. And I know that it kind of seems like compounds should go ahead and fit in this mixtures category, but it doesn't, and whenever we learn about atoms, you'll see why. Basically because, hey, I'm just teaching the stuff, I didn't make it up. If I made it up, maybe I'd throw it in mixtures, who knows. But anyways, that's the way it is, and uh, if you're taking a test, make sure to say that elements and compounds are both pure substances or else you're going to get an F on it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and next time we're going to be talking about these different types of mixtures. It's going to be awesome. So thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you then.